So the foundation of how I teach people to find their life partners, as in, in, in the dating process, is based upon three things. And in this first IGTV video, I'm going to explain to you what those three things are. Um, so the first one is figuring out what you need in a relationship. So think of these things as your non-negotiables, as in your values. Um, so some examples could be honesty, integrity, authenticity, things like that. And oftentimes it's really hard to think about what your own values are until a moment where someone says something that triggers you and you get really angry. Uh, whether it's a comment about female uh, women's rights or gay rights or something that really just makes you feel upset. That's the only times when we really think about our values. So I'm going to go through a series of questions and exercises to help you get thinking about what your needs are. Um, so if you, when you think of your values, a lot of the times these are intrinsic to how we grew up. And our parents did a lot of that for us. For example, when your parents, when you were growing up, what did your parents tell you um, that you should always do in order to be a good person? Like what was their definition of a good person? Is it someone who always t um, told the truth? Is it someone who um, really valued in like environmental and environmental issues and recycling and cleaning up after ourselves? Um, is it about responsibility? Is it about independence? Um, so think about your parents growing up, um, what they thought or uh, taught you um, that would define someone as a good person. And then on the flip side, think about uh, when you got in trouble, what are some things, those those characteristics that they instilled in you um, that made you think of someone who was bad? Um, another way that you can think of your values is to think about who your role models are and what is it about your role models that you really want to aspire to be? What are some characteristics of these role models? Like, are they um, often really positive people? They're um, forward thinking? Are they really creative? Um, so that's a really good question to ask yourself. Um, so another way you can figure out what your needs are is to think about your moral compass. And a classic situation that I always give people um, is pretend you're going shopping and you're paying for your grocery items and you finished paying when you've realized that the cashier forgot to charge you for the candy bar. And it's, I don't know, like five bucks. So what do you do in that situation? Do you go back to the cashier and say, hey, you know, like you didn't charge me for this, I wanna pay pay you back or pay pay for it, I don't wanna, you know, cause I don't, I think you believe and there's a balance in the universe. Or maybe you're thinking, I'm gonna keep this, pocket it, it's a good day. So think about in, in terms of your moral compass, where do you stand on that? Another another example is about white lies. Do you think it's okay to lie um, in certain situations? Um, or is it always just best practice to tell the truth? Um, and then you can also think about um, spiritual and religious beliefs. So this is also comes into play with marriage and family. Um, if marriage is a really firm belief of yours, then you're going to want to need someone who shares that belief because if they don't believe in marriage, it's really hard to move forward with that person um, and move to the next life stage. As well as with family, if family is a huge value of yours, then you're not going to want someone who values that. Um, when, and especially when it comes to building a family and having children, if you both don't see eye to eye on that, that's a need. That's a non-negotiable when you're searching for a partner. So the next video, I will talk about what the second thing is, uh, which is what your wants. And then the following video, we'll talk about your deserves.